Hey there, good folks. Ken Kunin from On Song International. Hope you're keeping well. It's this moment in time that I remind you to subscribe to our channel to hit that bell so you're notified in moments like this, where today we're going to be having a look and doing an album review of Fingerless Out There. Fingerless is a band that was put together by the creative artist Mark Cheeseman, who hails from Brisbane. Mark's been around in the alternative world for a couple years now, and with each release, they seem to get a little bit stronger and stronger. And uh, in terms of the album itself out there, how would I describe it? It's almost as if uh, Mark and the band have been uh, in the world of transcendental meditation or perhaps space travel or perhaps uh, smoking the peace pipe or maybe a combination of all of the above. But what I do know about Out There and Fingerless as a band and Cheeseman as an artist is that he takes you to a place. He puts you on a bus and you either want to get on that bus or you don't. Me? I like things that take a few chances. I like few things that take a few risks. And I like something that can transport me. And his music provides a terrific vehicle in that capacity. Now, Out There, that's an eight-song album. Uh, you could call it a concept album. I'm not certain about that because I had to look through the lyrics. And uh, I don't necessarily see a central theme. What I see is different musings about uh, different moments in time where Cheeseman as a songwriter wants to put you in the middle of it, and it may or may not make sense, and I don't actually think that that matters. This is not a pop record, ladies and gentlemen. This is an artistic experiment meant to take you on a Saturday night, you put something on before you go to bed, and you're certain to have some interesting dreams. For me, the standout tracks were Take and um, Iron. Iron had uh, a really almost a, a nice dreamy Jerry Garcia, Grateful Dead-like vocal. And what I like about that is the vocals are up. I'm always on uh, Mr. Cheeseman about getting those vocals up. I happen to like his voice. I want to hear more of it. So Mark right now is probably giving me the finger going, yeah, yeah. But that said, I want to hear that voice. Now, a really cool backstory. I had a cool chat with, uh, with Mark last week, and the album was written, recorded, engineered, mixed for a grand total, drum roll please, ladies and gentlemen, of nothing. And uh, that just warms my bloody heart, and I'm going to tell you why. So many artists these days, oh, I could make a record if I had the money. I could make a record if I could convince, uh, convince a, a producer to produce us or a studio to take us in and record. Well, you know what? If is a massive two-letter word. And fortunately, fellows like Mark and his band, Fingerless, don't let if get in the way of anything. If they did, we wouldn't have this album. And this album moves around. A lot of people are going to try to go, well, what, how would you classify it? And uh, beats me. I've listened to it about five times, and yeah, there's some psychedelia in it. There's some rock and roll. There's some folk. There's some country. There's some ambient moments, but it all works. And uh, in the sheer fact that it was recorded on, a, I was going to say shoestring, but it was recorded for less than that, should be a hell of an inspiration for other artists to stop using bloody excuses and get busy producing music. And if you do that, then what it enables is it enables an audience to have a little bit of an idea of what the hell makes an artist tick. And uh, yeah, with, with Mark, I think it's just about putting, putting the listener into his world, which is, I think, the the goal and the responsibility of every artist. Neither you want to get into that world or you don't. But I would rather an artist actually take a risk and not create a sculpted pop album where everything is very formulaic. Instead, jump into the deep end now and again and see what you come up with. So uh, I'm, I'm happy to tell you that uh, Mark's Creativity and Fingerless as a band has hooked the attention of a little boutique label called Valley, Valley Heat Records, which is in Brisbane's Valley. And what I see is with each album that gets a little bit more attention that Fingerless puts together, I see it uh, as an opportunity that perhaps the next record there will be someone to fund 
fingerless and mark into a bigger studio where sonically they can come alive to the next level. Um, but that's part of the coolness of the project is that it was recorded with three microphones in a room essentially by three guys. I know that they've added a keyboard player since. My guess is that Mark probably did some keys along lots of guitar tracks uh, to build what you hear. But again, I think you've got to follow the story. And so we'll put a link to, to uh, Fingerless's music below. And also I'm going to make that invitation to other artists out there that if you've created an album or an EP that you're proud of, I want you to send us a link to info at onsongoz.com and uh, we'll give it a listen. No promises. We're not going to like everything that comes our way. But if something hooks us and something is passionate like Fingerless, then you got an, a good chance of us actually giving it a review. Again, below there's a little bit of a link if you want to uh, get on board and help on song. Uh, we got a little PayPal contribution. Helps keep the lights on, helps uh, video production, etc. And uh, we look forward to what you send us. We look forward to seeing what your thoughts of Fingerless Out There is, which is very ironic because Out There is the title track. And Out There as a song is probably the least out there song on the entire album. So I don't know whether that was intended, um, but I do find it ironic. So until next time, Ken Kunin from On Song International. Go check out Fingerless Out There. Go check out what we're doing, and we will see you real soon. Take care.